sometimes when you are uh, deeply touched in satsang maybe whatever has been hiding lurking in the in the shadowy place some private place once that has been somehow caught in the inquiry or perhaps exposed you see then sometimes it's like uh, some big noise come some big noise come I say like this sometimes if you have been punched in satsang you have been stabbed someplace in the very solar plexus of your being you have been mugged you are shot you are attacked you come under attack meaning your ego sense and now there's a big 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 tsunami of feelings are coming okay then what to do many people they are trying to rescue themselves the mind comes is trying to understand to analyze you know what went wrong what's happening to me what should I do now and I said you know shut up just keep quiet surrender to it it's so important uh, that you recognize the significance of what is happening to you now it's in the hands of grace something that has been held in secret because ordinarily in our minds we are trying to protect the ego is trying to protect itself to perpetuate its existence of course and to that extent we are feeling you know you are mm, a victim you are enslaved by these tendencies and they are effectively what I saying holding the beingness hostage because you the beingness forgot your original freedom and you are clinging to these identities and these identities are making you feel very insecure so now in satsang when truth comes the light of truth is exposing all of this mess and everything is coming up is as though the beingness now is vomiting up burping up all this stuff and it's not a pretty feeling it's not it's not beautiful it's not sweet and sometimes the mind comes in all kinds of resistance all kind of rebelliousness like you oh, oh this is not this is not supposed to happen you know you're falling apart you know what's going to happen to you but this you you must not identify with it you the consciousness must be very clear and it's very difficult in the in these uh, very strong pulsations to keep your calm you see who is keeping calm meaning to not identify with what is arising simply surrender it and actually change the outlook from self pity to self surrender surrender to it if it feels like your whole being is on fire you're going to be blown up you're torn open be torn open be willing to go through this because this is uh, you your when I say to step into the fire of self-discovery and that this fire will not burn you it will burn what you are not and that which is screaming and yelling in this fire is not what you are it is just what you have imagined yourself to be and it's on fire see so please surrender you are strong enough you are old enough ripe enough if you want to say to face this inner burning don't try and escape don't try and salvage anything the one who is on fire is not you it's only one self image and that self image is really what is uh, somehow eclipsing your intuitive recognition that you are the freedom itself so I am very happy to have this opportunity to again you know, remind everyone uh, don't panic and uh, don't identify it's very difficult in those moments to not identify because that is exactly the reflex that happened in those moments is that strong identification arises there I, I feel this because I also come with arrives fear because if when I s when I feel that I, I'm starting to surrender I feel and then comes the, th the thought yeah but then and then comes fear it's this like is where you have to include I'm gonna lose everything you have to include in the surrendering the surrenderer itself you see because it's as, it's as though if you don't surrender the surrenderer then the surrenderer is trying to make a deal he's saying but if I surrender everything then then what's going to happen to me 
Mm -hmm. So uh, this this one who is bargaining, who is talking about surrender, is also the ego. You see, it's not the true. When that ego is exposed and thrown out, then what is really always here, not coming in from somewhere else, but what is always here, will reveal itself. You see, this voice of the self-image, the the ideas we have of who we are, that is still very much within the operation. It's still. Uh, unclear that you are not that you see it's such an intimate voice but you are aware of this voice you're aware of the anxiety that comes up with this voice with a feeling of threat or fear that comes up so you're witnessing a phenomenon you see you you have to hold on to that witness who is beyond the personality it is like pure intelligence pure perceiving In the moment when the when the fire is burning most fiercely in the body, the whole body, the mind is on fire. I am reminding you, keep quiet. Your surrendering is being accepted. Your surrendering, you are still surrendering. It's being accepted. It's in the process now of burning all that is untrue. Don't try and salvage anything. Nothing is worth salvaging of what is screaming or burning. Just be open to it. Grace is taking is taking uh, uh, charge of all of this. Don't try and crawl out of the fire, so to speak. Be in this fire. It's a great moment. Change your attitude from feeling sorry for yourself to being very grateful that you are picked up by life in such a powerful, ferocious way. Now you're in the in the tiger's mouth. They say that once you're in the tiger's mouth, you cannot escape. Anything that's in the tiger's mouth cannot escape. You are lucky to be in the tiger's mouth. Because if you're in the chihuahua's mouth, you're going to have a lot of trouble. You see? If you're in the dog's mouth, you're going to have a lot of trouble. But if you're in the lion's mouth, if you're in the tiger's mouth, then it's soon over. A true being understands the beauty and the implication of this statement I'm making. You see, there's only pain when there is the the wanting to to escape, to keep, to protect, to shelter the ego. But if you are really resolved inside your heart that I, I have to be free of this, being free of this means to be finished with this bargaining. To be free of you know looking for a contract. Be free of wanting any guarantees. This is the mind. This is the ego. Come to this fire. Be stripped completely naked. Go beyond nakedness. Be empty completely. And this fire will reduce you to emptiness. Everybody wants to save their tail. They say, the devil without his tail. Everybody wants to save his tail. Meaning, you're trying to hold on to something because you imagine that to be so completely burnt, then you are useless. Yes, you as ego are useless, but you are as the self is completely um, prevailing, you see. And that is the difference. 